Hello, everyone. Welcome to the theory class. Today, we're going to be covering lesson 10. So before we get started on that, let's go ahead and do our evaluation and see how you do. Okay, here we go. Number one is fame. Fame. He changed when he realized he had fame from his singing. Number two, soak. Why don't you soak in the tub? Number three, the brief until. I wanted to go until it started to rain. Number four, many. There are so many things to do, many. Number five, speed. If you speed down the road, you may get a ticket, speed. Number six, mom. My mom will go with us to the mall, mom. Number seven, swap. Would you like to swap numbers with me? Swap. Number eight, the brief account. What is your account number? Account. Number nine, well. Are you well today? Well. And number 10 is tick. Get the tick off of you. Tick. All right. So let's go through those and see how you did. All right. Number one is fame. That's going to be initial F, long A, final M. Number two, soak, S, long O, final K. Number three, the brief until. Initial N, final L. Number four, many, final M. Number five, speed, S, P, long E, D. If you write it with a shorty, it would be sped. Number six, mom, initial M, O, final M. Number seven, swap. This is one of our broad A words. If it's spelled with an A and has an A sound, we write it with an A-U, S-W-A-U-P. Number eight, the brief account, final K-T. And again, if you're still struggling with that, then go back and, and uh, do that finger exercise that I told you about, final K-T, final M-S, final K-T, final M-S, final K-T, and just go back and forth until you feel like you've gotten the you know the you know gotten used to that that back and forth uh, change with your fingers okay all right um let's see here where were we at number nine the brief well initial w final l and we don't write it as w-e-l that would be we will okay and number 10 tick t short i final k all right Again, if you missed more than one or two, you need to go back and redo that lesson. That's just a little snapshot of that previous lesson. So if you missed, I would say even any more than one, you need to go back and redo it, okay? All right, so if you haven't already done so, pause this and print out your handouts, and we will get started. Lesson 10, let's start with uh, section 10.1 today. We're going to learn some new letters. We've got final N, which is our final PB, and that is struck with our middle finger of our right hand, PB. That's our final N, okay? Middle finger, right hand. Then we've got our final X. That's our BGS on the final side. That's struck with our middle ring and pinky, BGS on the final side, okay? Final X. 
Then we have initial Y. Initial Y is going to be the KWR on the initial side. And that is struck with our ring, middle, and index finger of our left hand, KWR. Okay, so those are our three new letters that we're learning today in lesson 10. So let's look at our handout. We've got mean, mean. So he is mean. Initial M, A, E, final N. Okay. Then we have lane. The lane was closed. Initial L, long A, final N. So you're noticing, I'm sure by now, how each lesson builds from the previous lesson. So if you look at mean, you know, a person that does not know steno or has not taken theory would not even know that that is mean, initial M, A, E, N. So now you can kind of see how each lesson is building. So if you didn't get your initial M down, it's going to be very difficult to move on to the, the future lessons. So uh, just, you know, keep that in mind. That's why I'm always drilling to do each lesson at least, or each lesson at least three times, preferably four or more. Okay. Then we've got 10, T, short I, final N. Min, initial M, E, final N. Loan, L, long O, final N. And that's like a loan that you want to get. I want, a, I want to take a loan out. Then we've got loan. We don't hear that one as often, but it is, there is such a word. It's like the lone star. Um, it means solitary confinement, um, having no companion. That is the lone rider. Uh, that one is going to be flagged. It's spelled L-O-N-E. So we're going to flag that one because it doesn't come up as often. Initial L, long O with the flag, final N. Okay, so if you have to, highlight that flag so that it stands out. Tone, T, long O, final N. Ban, B, A, final N. Man, M, A, final N. Run, R, U, final N. Tune, T, long U, final N. Fun, initial F, U, final N. Ran, R, A, final N. Sin, S, short I, final N. Sun, now the sun, notice that's the sun that sets outside, S-U-N. It's written just like it's spelled, S, U, final N. Okay, the sun is bright today. Then we have sun. My son was born last week. S-O-N, so we're going to write it as S-O, final N. So each of those sons, S-U-N, S-O-N, is written on our machine just like it's spelled in the English language, okay? Then we have pin, P, short I, final N, okay? Uh, put the pin on my shirt. Then we have pen. Do you have a pen or pencil? P, E, final N. Bun, B-U, final N, done. Now, done in the English language is spelled D-O-N-E, but we write it phonetically, so that's going to be written as initial D-U-N, done. Tan, T-A, final N, van, initial V-A-N. Win, I will win the race, W, short I, final N. Pan, P-A, final N. Pain, P, long A, final N. Then we've got, so the first pain is I have pain in my knee. Then we have pain, P-A-N-E. And that's more just like a, a sheet of glass, like in a window, the window pane. Again, that one does not come up as often, so we're going to flag that one. P, long A, with the flag, final N. Okay, so that's how we decipher between pain, P-A-I-N, and pain, P-A-N-E. We usually try to flag the one that comes up uh, uh, the fewer amount of times, which pain, window pain does not come up as often, P-A-N-E. All right, then we have main. Uh, I will go to the main hall, M, long A, final N. Then we have main, M-A-N-E. Again, that doesn't come up as often. It's the hair um, on the neck of an animal. Um, brush the mane on the horse. That would be M, long A, with the flag, final N. 
okay? And it just go, it just uh, happens to be that these end with an E. P A N E is flagged, M A N E is flagged. Um, so it kind of makes it a little bit easier to remember. Lone N or L O N E is the one that's flagged. So that makes it a little bit easier to know that those all end with the E. Okay. Then we have, let's look at our final X words. Again, final X is the B G S. So we've got lax. L A final X. X. E final X. Wax. W A final X. Mix. Initial M. Short I final X. Sax. S A final X. Fox. Initial F O final X. Ax. A final X. Sex. S E final X. Tax, T A, final X. Fax, initial F A, final X. Max, M A, final X. Tux, T U, final X. Box, B O, final X. Hex, that's a curse, H E, final X. Fix, initial F, short I, final X. Ox. Now we need to talk about ox. Ox is going to be flagged, so you might want to highlight that flag there so you don't forget and it stands out. The reason why we have to flag ox is because you're going to get the brief objection, and objection is O B G S. Um, objection comes up a lot more than ox, so that's why we choose to. Um, uh, flag the ox. You're going to get objection in section 10.4 in the brief section. So make a little note. We flag ox because uh, we don't want it to conflict, conflict with the brief objection. So let me show you how I write ox. So I've got my thumb of my left hand on the O. I've got my right fingers on BGS, middle ring and pinky. And then I'm just going to use my index finger of my left hand to strike the flag, OBGS with the flag all at one time. Okay, and that tells me that we're talking about the word ox. And this is writing in real time, not having those conflicts, okay? Now, let's talk about our initial Y. Initial Y is going to be struck with the ring, middle, and index finger of our left hand, initial Y, KWR. That's our initial Y. Okay, so let me use my pointer so I don't get in the way of the board here. We've got yen. Yen is like a yearning or a longing. It's also Japanese money. Yen is going to be written as initial Y, E, final N. Then we have yell, initial Y, E, final L. Yacht. Now let's look at the word yacht. It's spelled with an A, but it has a ah sound, so we're going to use the broad A. So we're going to write that as initial Y, a U T. Okay, yacht it has an aw sound spelled with an A in English, so we're going to write it as the broad A, Y A U T. So highlight that if that helps you to remember. Then we have yam, initial Y, A, final M. Yet, initial Y, E, final T. Year, initial Y, A, E, R. There's our E A reversal. Yip. Now, yip is like a sharp cry, um, whether it's like a yelp or an animal that, that is excited. A uh, yip is going to be written as initial Y, short I, P, yip. Then we have yawn. Now, yawn is like the word yacht. It has an aw sound spelled with an A. So we're going to write that as initial Y, A, U, final N, yawn. So again, if you have to highlight that so the AU stands out, feel free to do that. Okay, yep, yep, he said yep. Initial Y, E, P, yes. Initial Y, E, S. Yard, again, there's a broad A word spelled with an A, but it has an aw sound, yard. Initial Y, A, U, R, D, yard. Then we have young, initial Y, U, N, final N, G, 
Okay, so you just got your final N, so young. Initial Y, U, N, G, young. Yay, initial Y, long A. Yuck, initial Y, U, final K. Now we've got yoke and yoke. The first yoke, Y O K E, is a wooden frame for two oxen to pull a plow. A plow. So that yoke is going to be written as Y long O final K yoke. Then we have yoke as in an egg yoke. That one is going to be flagged. Initial Y long O with the flag final K. And that one, let me show you how. My fingers look when I write that. Initial Y, long O, final K. So I'm going to use my right index to flag that one. Okay, it's a little bit harder for me because this keyboard is, is expanded, but um, that's how you write yolk, the egg yolk. Then we have yield, Y, initial Y, long E, L, D. Yarn, there's a broad A word, spelled with the A, it has an A sound. Yarn, initial Y, A U R, final N. Okay, yarn. Yak, now yak, we've got yak and yak. The first yak, Y A K, is a large wild ox with shaggy hair. That's going to be written as initial Y, short A, final K. Then we have yak, like to talk as a chatter or gabbing. She likes to yak a lot. You've heard that. That doesn't come up as often, so that one's going to be flagged. Initial Y, A with the flag, final K. All right. So those are your new letters for uh, lesson 10, final N, final X, initial Y. Okay, looking over. Moving on over to section 10.2, we have a writing drill. Again, you're going to separate each one of these with a comma, since they're not complete sentences. The loan, comma. Right lane, comma. Now, just a little reminder, right is going to be written as R long I G T. Since it's a G H T word, we use that final G T, okay? The tax, comma. This year, comma. The man, comma. Tin can, comma. Now let's talk about tin can. Can, you've already learned your brief for can, which is initial K, okay? But this is can, we're talking about the noun can, like drink the can of soda. You have your choice. You can either use your initial K for the brief, it's still going to come up as C-A-N, or because you're talking about the noun can, you can use, um, you can write it as K-A-N, um, because it's a noun. Now, I prefer that you just use the brief because it's the same spelling. But I do have that question asked a lot. Um, should we write it out as K-A-N because it's a noun? It's different from the word can, I can do it. So I'm gonna leave that up to you. So you can either use your brief because it comes up the same as the same spelling, or you can write it as K-A-N, it's up to you, okay? Then we have fox fur, comma. To yell, comma, to mix, comma, the sign, comma, so lax, comma, tax bill, comma, his sax, comma. Now don't forget his is H I Z. It's not his, it's his. A tone, comma, her son, comma. Now we're talking about S O N, so we're writing it as S O N. Okay, A yen, comma, an axe, comma, a fox, comma, the men, comma, her tan, comma, the sin, comma, to yip, comma, my yacht, comma. Now don't forget, my is a pronoun, so we're using the short I. Okay. Hot sun, comma. Um, now don't forget, we're using S U N. It's spelled S U N, so we're writing it just like it's spelled. Okay. Hot sun, comma. It shown, comma. Lax rule, comma. The tone, comma, to wax, comma, big tax, comma, the mix, comma, a pain, comma, to lean, comma, the yoke, comma, her ex, comma, a year, comma, to run, comma, the max, comma, a pan, comma, the tux, comma, 
so young, comma, don't forget young, Y-U-N-G, okay? A box, comma, to loan, comma. Okay, moving on over to 10.3, we have a sentence drill. Again, anything that's underlined simply tells you you need to phrase it. Now, I want you to look at um, line five. Uh, the men will yell, period. The sun shone today, period. Don't forget, sun, we're talking about S-U-N, so we write it as S-U-N, okay? Now, line eight, uh, look at that se second sentence. He has a yen for some meat. Yen just means a longing. For is, is written as F-O-R. We don't write it as a long O because that's what we use for words that have the prefix F-O-R, like forget, forgot, okay? Looking down at line 15, you'll see it says, yes, comma, the van will yield, period. Don't forget to use your RBGS, yes, and then strike your comma, okay? All right. Moving on over to 10.4, we've got some new briefs and phrases. Now, and is going to be a little tricky at first. That's the first brief you're going to see on this Handout 10.4, and let me show you. You're going to use your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger of your left hand, and SKP, and it's a little, uh, you know, your fingers are, you've got your middle, middle finger going up, and your, your two fingers here are side by side, and this one's going up, okay? So, it's, you know, you've got it in a different position that you've had to do so far, Promise you, you will get used to it in time. Again, if you need to, trim those fingernails so they're not long. This is about as long as I can have them. So let's look at our, our briefs and phrases. We've got and, SKP on the initial side, and I, SKPI, again, is what your fingers are going to look like. And then uh, you, when we phrase I, we want to use a short I because it's a pronoun. Okay, and you, SKPU. I can point to, to some of these, S-K-P-U for and you, and the, S-K-P on the initial side, final T, and A, S-K-P-A, short A, okay, um, and T, S-K-P-E, short E, okay, now we've got yes, let's look at yes, yes is simply initial Y-E-S, yes, really it's, it's, um, I don't really call it that much of a, a, a brief because it's not really, it's, it's written just like it's spelled, but we add that because we've got no, we've got yes, sir, and then no, sir. So we, we kind of add that in there, but um, it's really not considered, yes, is, I wouldn't consider it so much a brief, but we like to put that in there because we have yes, sir. So we want to kind of show you. Yes is Y-E-S. And then if you notice next to that, to the right, we've got yes, sir, Y-E-R. Yes, sir, Y-E-R. Your, yes, sir. Now, let's, let's look at yes, sir, okay? Um, if you notice, there's a comma after yes. Yes, comma, sir. That is how we always um, transcribe yes, sir, or no, sir. It's yes, comma, space, sir. No comma space, sir. Now, when you write Y-E-R, and as long as you don't hit any other letters and you write it clean, Y-E-R, your, your dictionary is going to recognize your software, that that is yes, sir. You're going to get yes, comma, space, sir, okay? Um, same with no, sir. No comma, space, sir. But if for some reason you hit Y-E-R, and let's say you accidentally hit uh, the B, and you don't get yes, sir. If you were transcribing that test, you would have to make sure that you have a space after the comma. Yes, comma, space. Get your space bar. If this is if you're doing, you know, you're, you're transcribing a test, um, you would need a space and then sir. And the same goes with no, sir. Okay. But as long as you write it clean, your software is going to recognize it and it will, it will have the right, correct spaces added for you because it's already been entered into your dictionary, okay? Let's look at no, sir. No, sir is N-O-R, nor, N-O-R, short R, 
or I'm sorry, short O, N-O-R, N-O-R. So yes, sir, no, sir. Then we have Ben. Let's look at Ben. I have been here for a while. Ben is going to be initial B, final N. Ben. Okay. All right. Let's look at our next brief. We've got on. On. On is simply O. I will go on the ride. O. O is our brief for on. Okay. And you will probably hear on the, which you would phrase, O final T. Okay. On the. All right. Um, then we've got but. But is written as B-U. I wanted to go but it started to rain. B-U is our brief for but. Okay. Looking over on the next line, line five, we've got Y. Y is going to be our initial Y, which is KWR on the initial side. Y. Okay. Why not? Initial Y, final N. Why not? Okay. Now, if you notice the next brief, it's accident. Accident. Accident's going to be final X. BGS on the final side. Accident. That comes up a lot, especially when you get into speeds. You're going to get a lot of car accidents, slip and fall accidents, and so forth. So that's, that's our brief for accident. Now here is objection. And I talked about ox in that previous, um, that previous part of the lesson part, let's see, 10.1. We talked about ox, and I said we have to flag it because of objection. And here it is, objection. So objection is going to be written as O-B-G-S, okay? Ox is flag, objection is simply O-B-G-S, okay? All right, now, looking at line six, we've got the brief not, okay? Not, not is always going to be final N, not, okay? Whether or not it's a phrase with something else, it's always final N. But we do have some phrases, R not, initial R, final N. Now make sure you don't use R on the final side. It's not R on the final side. It's initial R, final N. R not. Okay. Um, let's see here. Is not, initial S, final N. Okay, is not. And then we have did not, initial D, final N. Okay, were not, initial W, R, final N. Okay, will not, initial L, final N. Have not, initial V, final N. Had not, initial H, final N. Cannot, initial K, final N. And let's talk about cannot. Cannot is always going to be one word. So it's still considered a phrase, okay? It's still going to be considered a phrase in the phrase section of, um, of a test, but cannot is always spelled as one word. Okay, so make yourself a little note there. Cannot is always one word. Okay. All right, then let's look at do not. Do not is going to be written as D-O final N. Do not. Now, you might be asking, what about the word, the proper name Don? Like Don is my uncle, D-O-N. We would write that as D-O-N with the flag, okay? And then if we have dawn, the sun will come up at dawn. That is written as D-A-U-N because it's spelled D-A-W-N, so we write it as D-A-U-N. And then if we've got the female dawn, D-A-W-N, we would flag that, D-A-U-N with the flag. So we've got all of our bases covered there. We don't have any conflicts there, okay? Moving on over to 10.5, we have a brief drill. So again, you want to separate each one with a comma, Ben, comma, no sir, comma. Now don't let that, don't let that um, comma throw you off on no sir, okay? If you write N-O-R clean without it hitting any other keys, you're going to see no comma sir or no comma space, sir. 
But after that, after you strike no sir, lift up, then strike your comma, because you do want to separate that from the next one, which is many, many, okay? And so on. All right. Looking at 10.5, let's see here. 10.6, we've got practice sentences. Okay, again, the underlined words just give you the clue that you're supposed to uh, phrase those. Again, the first sentence, um, or the first line, we have, why did you take the car? In a rog. Make sure you strike your STPH for in a rog. Why has she been in the sun in a rog? Sun, S-U-N. Okay. Notice um, in line three, it says, yes, comma, my son did fix the car, period. Don't forget your comma after yes. Okay, it's Y-E-S, and then because there's a comma there, you're going to strike your comma. Okay, yes, comma, it ran, but not well. Oh, I do want to talk to you about but not. Um, I've had... Actually, I'm going to talk to you about but the, okay? I've had people ask me, can we phrase but the? Because but is be you. Can we phrase but the? But we cannot because the word but, B-U-T-T, -T, is going to be written as B-U-T, okay? So that's why we can't phrase but the. All right? So you can write that down. Make yourself a little note so you don't forget. Okay. Uh, looking down on line five, again, yes, sir, comma. So yes, sir, if you write Y-E-R clean, you're going to get the yes, comma, space, sir. But then notice there's a comma after that. You strike your comma there. The team did win, period. Again, yes, sir, comma, it is my car. Okay, same with line seven. No, sir, comma, it has been a rule. Again, if you write no sir cleanly, N-O-R, N-O-R, you're going to get no comma space sir, but then you do have to add the comma after that, okay? Same with the next sentence, no sir, comma, it has been fun. Look at line eight. Ray can sit here, comma, not Ted. So you want to strike that comma. How can read it, comma, not Pat, okay? Uh, let's see here. Look, go down to line 11. We cannot run and run. Notice that cannot is one word. It's always one word, even though it's considered a phrase. Okay. Um, looking at uh, line 12, the second sentence, it says, Bill and he will read it. I've had students in the past ask me if we can phrase and he will. I just want you right now to phrase and he, which is S-K-P-E, and he. I don't want you to phrase and he will because it looks too much like a word. It comes out as S-K-P-E-L, and it's very close to the word spell, except with the K in there. So I would rather you not because I don't want you to think that it's a word, okay? Maybe later on when you're in speeds and you know your, your keyboard, you know your theory, then you can implement that. But for now. I would rather you just phrase and he and then come back for will. Okay, and then again, now down in line 18, the second sentence, actually the first and the second sentence, it starts with, but the man had not done it, but the kid had not been home. Um, I get students that ask me all the time, can we phrase but the, but we can't because that's how we write B, the word B-U-T-T. -T. He got a shot in his butt. That's how we write that but. B-U-T. And then, of course, the briefer but is just B-U. Okay, so don't phrase but the. All right, looking over on section 10.7, we've got some conflict outlines. Okay, again, uh, this is how we write real time because we have all of our conflict outlines resolved. All right, so let's look at the first one. One, like I have one dog, is going to be written as W-U-N, one, okay? Then we've got one, I won the race. We're going to write it just like it's spelled, W-O-N, I won the race. Your, 
you're a very pretty girl. Your is our contraction for you are. So we're going to write that with a long you are. Your, the contraction your. Okay. And then we have your, possessive your. Your purse is gone. That's going to be written as initial Y, you are. So that takes a little bit of practice to get those two down. Okay. So if you're not sure, if you're not real good with contractions, just ask yourself, if you are being dictated a sentence and I say, uh, your dog ran away, you know that that would not be the contraction, your, because you would not ever say, you, are dog ran away. So you know that's not the contraction. That's possessive, your, your dog. That dog belongs to you. So that's written why you are. But if I were to say, um, you're going to have a great time, you can replace that with you are going to have a great time. So you know that's the contraction. So that's written as long you are. And kind of the rule with uh, contractions, even though we really haven't hit on those very much, except when we covered weed. Remember we covered weed? Um, like we'd like to go to the mall. And I said we have to write the contraction as W long ED. Normally contractions are written with the long vowel. So um, if you want to write that down so that it kind of helps you to remember your and your, the contraction your is going to be written with a long U R. Okay, like weed. That's why we have to flag weed. Um, they got busted for weed. Okay. All right, then line two, we've got said. Said is written as S E D. Says, she says, it's okay. Again, very phonetic. S E Z. Make sure you use your Z. It's not says, it says. Okay, then we have come. Will you come by my house? K U final M. And does, does it seem okay to you? Again, very phonetic. D U Z. Does, does your dog bite? Okay, those are our conflict outlines for lesson 10. Looking on over in 10.8, we've got sentences that practice those conflict outlines. Okay, what has he won? He said he won today. Come to my home. The men come home today. Ted said he could not. I said he could share it. One is in the bar. I have one dog at home. Bill does read very well. Make sure you flag Bill because it's a proper name. He does not have to wear it. You're a pal to Kate. You can say you are, so you know you're going to write that as long you are. It's a contraction, you're. Okay. Don't forget to flag Kate. I did not see your pal. Now that you're is going to be um, possessive, your, your pal. That pal belongs to you. So it's going to be written as why you are. Okay. Scott says he came home late. Let's talk about Scott. We have to flag it because it's one syllable proper name. But if you notice, it has an aw sound, but it's spelled in the English language with an O, S-C-O-T-T. -T. So because it's spelled with an O, we keep it as an O. That is the broad A rules, rules part of the rules there. Um, if it's spelled with an A and has an aw sound, we write it as A-U. If it's spelled with an O in the English language, but it has an aw sound, we, can, we keep it with an O. Okay, so Scott would be written as S-K-O with the flag T. Okay, Scott. All right, so Scott says he came home late, period. She says she won the race, period. What was said about it in Iraq? He says, you're the one, period. You could say you are, so you know it's the contraction. Your team won it today. That's possessive. Whose team? Your team. And you're to start your car. You could say you are to start your car, so you know that's the contraction for your. Okay, which is, again, long you are. And that might take some time to get used to, but um, practice, practice is the key. All right, now let's look at 10.9. We've got some consonant compounds. Today we're going to focus on TR and PR. So initial TR, initial PR, okay? So this TR is struck with my ring finger and index. 
PR is my middle finger and index, okay? Initial TR, initial PR. And these are very important to focus on because um, it's easy to make a mistake. And if you make a finger mistake with these, a lot of times it looks like a different word, so you can't even tell you made a mistake because it makes up another, another word, okay? All right. Let, for instance, if I have the word trick and I accidentally write prick, you may not even know you made the mistake. Okay. All right. So let's look at these uh, words. Trip. Okay. T R short I P. Trap. T R short A P. Trick. T R short I final K. Trill. T R short I final L. Track, T-R, short A, final K. Truck, T-R, short U, final K. Trot, T-R, O, final T. Again, it's spelled with an O, even though it has the aw sound spelled with an O, so we keep it with an O. Trim, T-R, short I, final M. Tray, T-R, long A. Trek, T-R, E, final K. Trail, T-R, long A, L. True, T-R, long U. Tram, T-R-A-M. Tree, T-R, long E. Try, T-R, long I. Troll, again, it, um, it's spelled, well, actually, it doesn't have the ah sound, so I take that back. Troll is T-R, long O, L, troll. The O says its name, so we use a long O. Tray, T-R, long A, final D. Trace, T-R, long A, S. Now let's look at the P-R words. Pride, P-R, long I, D. Prize, P-R, long I, final Z. Prize. Then we have price. See the difference between prize and price? It's just the, the ending there. Okay, price, P-R, long I, S. What is the price? Prim, P-R, short I, final M. Preen, meaning to like uh, make oneself look attractive or like with an animal, like a bird cleaning their feathers. Preen, P-R long E-N. Prune, P-R long U-N. Prune. Press, P-R-E-S. Pray, P-R long A. Print, P-R short I-N-T. Prop. Again, that has an aw sound, but it's spelled with an O, P-R-O-P. -P. Prom, P-R-O, final M. Pry, P-R, long I. Prince, P-R, short I, N, S. Probe, P-R, long O, B. Pro, P-R, long O. Prep, P-R, E, P. Prone, P-R, long O, final N, meaning lying flat or likely to suffer from an ailment, like I was prone to get colds. Uh, prick, P-R, short I, final K. Prick your finger. Okay. All right. Now, looking at our last section 10.10 .10. we've got practice sentences that focus on our consonant compounds okay uh, try to trim the tree period the trail is steep period line two he has a new truck period now just a reminder has is h-a-z we don't say has it's has uh, do not trip on the step, period. Now, don't, don't uh, phrase, or excuse me, you do want to phrase do not um, because we, we flagged Dawn, so we're okay to phrase that. Line three, can you win at a trot in a rock? The tram is very high, period. Uh, just a reminder, high, H-I-G-H, is going to be written as H, long I. And then if we've got high, H-I, he said high, that would be H long I with the flag. Okay, set the trap for the fox. Again, we do want to flag for the, I'm sorry, phrase for the F O 
R-T. If we've got the word fort, that would be F long O R T. So we're okay there. Eat when the tripe is hot. Line five, the sweet shop is a treat, period. Don't forget to phrase is a, S A, short A. Hear her high trill. Again, high, H long I. Uh, looking down in on line eight, it says she has a lot of pride. Now, A is just an article A, so you're going to write long A, and then in a second stroke, you would strike L-O-T, A lot, two words, and we're using our long A because it is an article A. Pray for a big sum, period, for is F-O-R. Um, line 10, Kate was not a prude, period, was W-A-Z. And line, uh, again, line 11, the company will probe for the information. For is just F-O-R. You don't want it to conflict with the prefix words that start with for. Uh, line 12, second sentence, prod the mule to make him trot. Prod just means like reminding somebody or trying to stimulate them to do something. So prod the mule. Again, it has an ah sound, but it's spelled with an O, so we write it as P-R-O-D. And then line 13, she would preen and preen. So um, everything else there looks great. Okay, so that is 10.10. .10. That's the end of lesson 10. So I will end this uh, lesson. And when you have done this lesson at least three times, preferably four or more, kind of rhymes there, then you're going to go in and listen to the read back sentences. So I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day.